Hey there guys, how are you? So let's talk about the best movies of 2015. Really good year for movies. Unfortunately, I haven't seen every single one of them. You know, I've seen very few movies this year. I haven't seen a lot of movies, but I'm pretty aware that there are movies that I think are really good. I just haven't seen all of them that people have seen before. And, you know, like I haven't seen, you know, Sicario. I have not seen, you know, Spotlight. I haven't seen that. So, like, this list will pretty much be kind of lacking because I haven't seen a bunch of great movies this year. Last year I saw quite a bit, and the year before I saw even more movies that, that year. So the first thing that I'm going to do is talk about the honorable mentions first, and then I'm going to definitely do a list. So, let's talk about the honorable mentions. Yeah, so the first honorable mention is going to be The Avengers Age of Ultron. Really good movie, that's all I can say. And... The other honorable mention is going to be The Gift. Two really good movies just didn't quite hit the list for me. So let's get on to the list. Uh, now keep in mind, there's only going to be five movies because I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen a bunch of them this year. There's been good movies I've seen that I, I had a lot of fun with and that um, I think are pretty awesome. So let's get on to the list. Yes, coming at number five is going to be The Martian. Considering the fact that I did give this movie a B in my original review, but as I kept thinking about it a little bit more, I started to really appreciate it and just kind of understand what really Scott was trying to do with this movie. And it's, it, like, it's based off of a novel, and, you know, I haven't read the novel. I'm not a big reader, but, you know, I just, I haven't read the novel before, but this movie, The Martian, was based off of the novel, you know. But, however, I really do like the look of Mars. It looks realistic as possible. I really, do, I really do love the look of Mars. It looks amazing and just has great visuals and cinematography wise. And just, it looks so good, you know. And Matt Damon pulled off that character Mark Watney really well. And Jessica Chastain, really good performance overall. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed uh, The Martian quite a bit. And really Scott did a really good job with this movie. But one of his best movies is definitely Alien and, you know, Prometheus and Blade Runner. I love those movies, those, those are really good. But yeah, I think that what really Scott did a really good job with this movie. So, The Martian is my number five. So yeah, so coming at number four is going to be Everest. So Everest is really, really good. I really did enjoy the experience of this movie. You know, Keira Knightley in particular was a, it just gave a really good performance in this movie. I just I. I, I felt emotional myself when I was feeling her emotions in this movie. Just it really kind of affected me a bit, you know. And just Everest was a true story, actually. It was based on these real people that, that had to suffer this uh, disaster um, of this snowstorm that hit. You know, so this snowstorm, like, pretty much happened while they were climbing this Mount Everest and trying to make it back down, and it didn't really work out so well. And, you know, it was a really huge snowstorm that hit. I mean, huge. Really kind of affected uh, these people of making it back down uh, from climbing, like, like from pretty much like climbing the Mount Everest. Jason Clark really did good in this movie. I thought he gave a really good performance as well. Even though I haven't seen uh, a Terminator Genesis, but from what I hear, it's a pretty bad performance that he gave in that movie. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen, like I said, have not seen uh, Terminator, like Terminator Genesis because I actually heard a lot of negative press about, you know, Jason Clark. You know, I heard a lot of negative press about his, his performance in that film. But, you know, he was really good in here, definitely. And he played some, uh, like, these actors and actresses actually played really good characters. And, you know, I really liked, of course, uh, Jason Clark and uh, Jake John Hall was good. Um, Josh Brolin was amazing, you know, just overall, I really love the movie, it had, it, it's a really good experience, and I just, I'm a really big fan of snow, that's kind of another reason um, I love this movie so much, is the, the snow aspect, because I love snow in movies, so, so yeah, that's why um, Everest is my number five. So coming at number three is going to be Star Wars The Force Awakens. Love, love this movie. I, there was a lot of hype surrounding this film. You know, there was a lot of Star Wars fans going nuts. I mean, but as soon as the film released, it really delivered. It really did. Let's face it. Ray was so good in this movie. So good in this movie. Just awesome. Just 
perfect, magnificent. Just, I, I mean, come on now. I mean, Ray was such an awesome character. You know, you just you felt a lot of emotions with her character. She was like vulnerable. It's amazing. And you know, like Daisy Ridley played Ray magnificently. Just considering the fact that Daisy Ridley, uh, th like this is like her second uh, feature film that she played in, and like her first one was actually Crawl. I have not heard of it before, but I looked it up online that that was her first uh, like feature, like yeah, so feature film that she, that she played in really. Um, yeah, I just I haven't heard of it, but that's pretty interesting, and. Not a bad way to continue her her acting career. Not a bad way to start off. Not a bad way at all. And, okay, Kylo Ren. I really love Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren was such an, uh, was such an amazing villain. A very, very menacing villain. He's not quite as evil as Darth Vader, like I said in my original review. Vader a lot, and just, I mean, Kylo Ren really delivers in this movie. He's, like, actually a person, you know? He's not finished training yet. You know, he's, he's like he's just getting start, and like he's just getting started and everything. You know, he, like Kylo Ren was actually a person. You know, he was a son of Han Solo and everything. But yeah, he just he, he really did a really good job. He's definitely on the same level as Darth Maul. And let's face it, Darth Maul was probably the best part of Phantom Menace. Let's just be honest here. <laughs> you know, even though Ph Phantom Menace wasn't a bad movie, but could have been a lot better for sure. But yeah, you know, but let's just face it, Darth Maul was probably the best part of Phantom Menace. And Kylo Ren definitely, uh, he's kind of on the same level as Darth Maul a bit, because, at least for me, anyway, as far as, like, the best villains, Star Wars villains. But nothing beats Vader, let's just face, let's face that reality, nothing beats Vader. Nothing, nobody's evil as Vader, just no one is evil as Vader, but, um, but Kylo Ren definitely does deliver here, so. Um, so yeah, I love Star Wars The Rose Awakens, and that's why it's my number three. Uh, so, okay, so coming in number two is going to be Inside Out. One of Pixar's best movies in years. I mean, great animated film. Awesome movie. I haven't seen anything, anything like it. I just, I haven't seen anything like this movie. It's, like, this is definitely up there with Pixar's uh, best movies of all time. You know, it's definitely up there with Toy Story and Bugs Life, for sure. And Up. You know, those were excellent Pixar movies, but... Inside Out is definitely in there. I mean, it's definitely up there with one of the best. Great job, Pixar. You did an amazing job with this movie. Just, I, I hope to see more Pixar movies that are just as good as this. I mean, I, you know, like, I, uh, now, I haven't seen uh, The Good Dinosaur yet. That's another Pixar movie that came out this year, but I'm looking forward to seeing that movie at some point. But um, for now, Inside Out is a great, great animated film. Awesome. But yeah, you know, so yeah, I can't wait to see what Pixar does next after uh, The Good Dinosaur. And, you know, I just I'm really looking forward to what Pixar does next. That's why Disney Pixar's Inside Out is my number two. Okay, so coming at my number one favorite movie of 2015 so far, at least. You know, because I, I need to see more 2015 movies next year. 2016 comes around. But... Yeah, my number one movie of 2015 is Mad Max Fury Road. Awesome, awesome movie. You know, it's directed by George Miller, the same director of the original three films, you know, that came out in the 70s and 80s, you know, which I have never seen. I know, I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed to admit that I have not seen... Uh, George Miller's previous films have I'm I'm pretty embarrassed by that but I will see those movies at some point but this movie was excellent you know great action set pieces great practical effects great everything great performances uh, by Tom Hardy playing Mad Max and uh, Charlize Theron playing a uh, uh, Furiosa amazing like performance you know like that like like, like I mean, like, this was really uh, Fury Elsa's movie, and, you know, it just, it, it really worked really well, and it just, it captured every little thing uh, beautifully, and it just, it really worked for me, so that is why Mad Max Fury Road is my number one favorite movie of 2015, so what are your guys' picks? I would love to hear your guys' opinions, you know, I just leave them down below in the comments, I'll be sure to read them, I would love to hear everyone's uh, opinions on this topic and on 
you know, babies in general. So, you know, I just, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions and theories on what's your favorite movie of 2015. I would love to hear your guys' opinions. Anyway, I'm rambling on too long. Uh, you know, so thank you very much for supporting my channel, guys. It really does mean a lot. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in uh, more videos in the future. So, yeah, uh, until then, uh, guys, uh, take it easy, guys, and take care, everyone.